Here are some things that I think Monster Hunter Rise did better than Monster Hunter World. Now I need you guys to understand that this is not me saying that Rise is a better game than World. I actually think that Monster Hunter World might be a top 50 video game of all time. Monster Hunter Rise is also a great game, but I don't think it's quite as good as World. Now Rise was made for the Switch, and comparing it to other Nintendo Switch games, I think I would say that Monster Hunter Rise might be one of the best games available on the Nintendo Switch. But that being said, both of these games have their own strengths and weaknesses. First off, the wire bugs were an awesome addition to Rise. At first, it was a little hard to get the hang of it, but I'm really glad that I didn't quit because it totally enhances your experience. I first used a great sword in Rise and didn't use the wire bug too, too much, but I did enjoy it. However, once I came back and played it again, but with bow guns, Wow, I really enjoyed the wire bugs and really felt what they were going for with it and it completely changed my gameplay. It's really cool that this concept alone allowed me to enjoy the same weapons that I tried in World and didn't enjoy as much. Controversial take coming at you guys, but wire bugs are greater than the clutch claw. Sorry. Another tiny feature that I love about Rise, and maybe I'm unique on this one, but this game lets you pause in single player. I love this so much. I have a little puppy named Theo and he's crazy and this just helps me a lot. I don't feel pressure where I could be at the end of a fight and I have to finish it despite him freaking out or something like that. I also feel like this game did a really good job at cleaning up the cutscenes. It does not drag nearly the way World does. It does not have unskippable cutscenes that feel like you just have to walk away and do something and come back so you can play again. And overall, the pacing in this game just feels a lot faster. It feels like you can really fly through a lot of hunts, do a lot of hunts in a shorter period of time, and just a really good counter experience to a game like Monster Hunter World. One thing that Rise has that World does not have is the Palamutes. They are awesome. Not only can you ride them to maneuver quicker, but they also fight with you. And the fact that you can have that and the Palico makes it feel like you have a little army. Plus, the customization on them is awesome, and you can take care of them by upgrading their gear and watching them grow as you grow. They may not buff you the way that the Palico buffs you, but the Palamutes are such a nice addition and is genuinely something that I miss when I go back to playing World. Now, I feel like Monster Hunter always nails their hub worlds, and I really love the hub worlds in Monster Hunter World. However, I'm not going to lie, I think I slightly enjoy the one in Rise even more. It is just so colorful, it's so vibrant, it's filled with characters. It doesn't feel like it's too spread out either. I feel like they condensed it a bit. It's also really cool how it feels a lot different than World. So you don't even have to like one more than the other, but just the fact that you can experience such different vibes of the same series is just amazing. And I love that Monster Hunter takes this approach. Now another thing that Rise has that World does not have is the tower defense mode, also known as the rampage mode. I personally did not enjoy this and I didn't really vibe with it. However, I'm not going to knock the game for trying something new because you don't have to play this. It's not really a main part of the game. I do understand that you can get some materials from it, but from my understanding, you do not have to complete it. It's not mandatory towards the main quest. I believe that even if 10% of the players out there enjoy this mode, I think that's a success because I truly do respect the fact that they did something new and different and even if it wasn't necessarily a huge success, if they keep trying different modes like this, I feel like one of them is bound to be a massive success. So shout out to Capcom for trying something different. Totally respect it. There was also some quality of life improvements in Monster Hunter Rise. For example, one small thing that I enjoy about this game is that harvesting resources has just become quicker. It's a tiny addition, but with all the resource gathering that you do in this game, that time really does add up. Another thing that they improved in this game, whether people love it or not, is instead of having to guess if a monster is ready for capture, this game will directly tell you this monster is weak and ready to be captured. For some people, I bet that helps out a ton. Rise definitely does some things better than World, and World definitely does some things better than Rise. The beauty of it is that we have both of these games to play, and I feel like they were made to almost bounce back and forth between. If you've only been playing Rise for a while or only been playing World for a while, I highly suggest you give the counterpart a shot and delve into it and see if you can enjoy it with a new perspective. I know for me, I got to experience some weapons that I did not try in World and I've really enjoyed that in Rise.
Happy hunting, everyone. I hope that these games can keep you guys entertained enough until we get wild. Stay well, everyone. Peace.